Three linemen are dead after Florida deputies say a drunk driver mowed them over last night. The men were working to restore power in the Florida panhandle after Hurricane Michael when the hit and run crash happened. And police caught up with the suspect. He's 37 year old John Gedke and charged him with DUI manslaughter and vehicular homicide. One of the victims is from Bertie County. And your size, Jason Mark, spoke to his grieving family today. Jason. It's just heartbreaking. You know, he was just the guy trying to help restore power to hurricane victims. You see him right here, George Cecil. He was gone for about a month, looking forward to coming home to his family. The last night, his life was taken. He was ready to come home and get near that water again. George Cecil was drawn to the beauty of the Chowan River. Loved going out there fishing. Loved it so much. He built his retirement home just yards from the banks. But he didn't frame it and he didn't do the siding, but all the trim, the deck, you know, the wiring, all everything on the inside he did. Cecil spent his time here, but when he wasn't, he was at work as a foreman for the local power company. He loved it. That was his work. That was his pride and joy. The 51 year old was always first to volunteer after a disaster. He left for Florida a month ago after the area was devastated by Hurricane Michael. He was due to hopefully come home Saturday. You know, we wanted to get together. Never again. Cecil and two other crew members were working last night when the unimaginable happened. Florida troopers say a drunk driver towing a U-Haul ran off the road, killing all three power employees. We're told 37-year-old John Gedke ran from the scene but was arrested shortly after. There's just no excuse for it. It's pathetic. And I miss my brother more than anything. Gedke's facing a list of charges, but the victim's family says the focus shouldn't be on him, but what he took. Still wish I could learn from him. Had a lot to give. Had a lot of good information to give. And uh, I'll miss that. I'll miss that bonding time. I just want him to be remembered as a hero, because he was definitely my hero. And I loved him so much. Family says someday they will heal, but not anytime soon. I know he's in a better place right now, doing just fine. Um, happy as can be. Oh, well, I like to think that he's fishing. Now, Get Keys facing DUI manslaughter and felony vehicular homicide. He's no stranger to the law, though. We looked at his criminal past and we'll have what we found coming up tonight at 6.